Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today, and I don't usually do these, but man, we're going to review the Marvel Avengers War Table number 2 that just recently came out. The beta trailer, it, I've watched it numerous times, but I wanted to kind of do a, a little bit of a slow, in-depth kind of talk about what we're going to see here. Because, guys, I'm honestly, honestly very excited over this game. So let's just see and start. Crank up the volume here. Welcome to the July Marvel's Avengers War Table. First off, a huge thank you to everyone who joined oh, our man. first Marvel's Avengers War Table last month. The Helicarrier. Extra thanks as well. You gotta love the Helicarriers. Like and what you want to see in future shows. We are reading your posts and comments, so please keep them coming. Since then, when and this is the July post, Avengers War Table number two, is the most recent one. We'll start with breaking down everything you need to know about the beta. Then we'll share a glimpse of the how beta our game will expand after launch, starting with our first post-launch hero, and we'll have a few surprises. New heroes, play. nice. If they keep doing DLCs for this game, beta. new heroes, it's just going to be freaking amazing. Like, get a huge roster of like 15 characters in there. Oh man, your game will live forever. Oh, Thor himself, the Hulk Master. <laughs> Kamala Khan. I'm not too familiar with her storyline, but uh, I I've heard of her. Ooh, I saw that guy. Uh, so this is like the airship. War table, or obviously, right? The beta opens with the entire Golden Gate Bridge demo, dropping players into the middle of the chain of events that led to. Yeah, the we've seen this before. It's kind of like the tutorial mission, obviously. Twenty-five minutes of gameplay and a great introduction to how each hero plays. Yeah, it kind of gives you like traversal work. A preview of all the characters, right? We built the Golden Gate Bridge sequence to be this roller coaster ride of an experience, with huge set pieces. Tons of oh, the Hulk slap looks so awesome. Guys, that is like one of his iconic moves. Many of each of the Ooh, Taskmaster himself. Heroics and Mr. Masters. From there, the beta starts to open up just like the full game does. Wait, wait, let's go back to that. Let's just check that out a little bit. Um, Where was that? Let's slide back a little bit. We got the Hulk slap, and then we got huge set pieces, tons of combat and traversal. Where'd it go? Taskmaster boss battle. The Taskmaster boss battle. He looks awesome. Of each of the heroes' special combos, heroics, Cap. specific moves. Iron Man getting blasted off his uh, ride. Okay, okay. Let's go slow here. All right, so what do we got? We got here. We got the reassemble campaign. We got missions. Okay, so you're gonna obviously have like objectives, daily missions, maybe weekly missions, uh, maybe even raid fights eventually. I'm not really sure. Uh, you got the title. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. I'm pretty sure this is like type of enemy you'll encounter, maybe, or maybe energy types you'll encounter. Uh, mission power. You got challenge difficulty. A description, select, you can choose the difficulty. Oh, you can choose mission modifiers. No one has talked about this yet. Yet, there's obviously going to be a system to uh, make or break for more difficulty, uh, loot. I don't know. Track mission chain. Okay, you can follow the chain. I do like that everything is a uh, like multiplayer mission. You can, you know, join in with your friends, join in with pubs in the Just real like world. The game does. Giving you new single player here. Oh, it's a cool Black Widow skin. It's got like SWAT outfit. This is why I might have Black Widow on my team, guys. She is just popping off with those pistols, and later on we'll see she has other weapon types. They're just amazing for her. As Kamala and Hulk I like the lasers. To the dense forests of the American Pacific Northwest on the trail of the Olympus. Mr. Banner, Arthur, I presume. The last known location of Jarvis. This is another example of a hero mission. Oh, look at look at that destructive wave of smash. That is awesome. Facing Hulk's destructive. That looks like it does AoE damage his throw. I've seen a 
we'll try to find it, but there's a piece where he like picks up a rock and throws it as well. So obviously all characters have ranged attacks. To uncover shield secrets hidden deep underground. We mm -hmm. chose these missions for the beta because they feature a diverse mix of locales. From one oh, I like this. I like the hovering helipads. And obviously all this is traversable. Like we see it in some footage a little later. You, like you can jump across these and fly around and blow up stuff. Not the big building. Oh yeah, here we go. Jumping across. Oh, robots. Smashable interiors. You can expect heavy resistance. I like the destructibility of this game. Like everything is like crushable by Hulk. You got there, Cricket. You should test everything that. Look at Abomination. Oh my gosh, this guy. At first, I thought this was like Killer Croc, but I was like, wait a minute, no, no, <laughs> this is Abomination. We've learned so far. It was really important for us. To Ooh, Hulk with Smash! Experiences that show off the taking him on. Scale of the game. Little taunt there. Oh, but he gets choke slammed. Look at this guy's outfit. He is flair to the max. You can tell he is the commander. And then you got the aim uh, security team. So these missions give you a look into the <laughs> They're all up there waiting. And our characters. Which uh, Kamala's cool. She's just not my style. I don't I don't like stretchy characters. <laughs> I'll, I'll enjoy stretchy arms. Combined the golden Here's my main right here. Mr. Thor. I'm I'm going to have him in my team definitely. Probably my main character, but we'll see. Already good size beta. But because Marvel's Avengers is all about the team, we knew that we needed to give you even more than that. Let's let it roll a little bit. Once you complete the single player story game content, authorized, you'll have four different heroes to, tower. to play in some great war zones and harm rooms that we've handpicked for the beta. They are Iron Man, of course, Kamala Khan, yep, Black Widow, and cool. Cooler. <laughs> Look at that guy. And that means you don't have to pick just one, you can play them all. I like how Hulk is like smashed in there. We're given access to the Helicarrier, Jarvis, and the War Table, where you can play four player co op in three different types of missions oh. harm rooms, war zones, and drop zones. Okay, so harm rooms, they like danger room, you know, training, and obviously there are going to be challenges in this game to complete, like reach t level 20 or, or uh, wave 20. Uh, I'm not sure what drop zone actually is. Is this just like. Just combat. And then you have the war zones, which are basically the big missions where you do war things with other players, right? Let's start well, all of it's rooms. multiplayer, so that's good. Our holographic augmented reality machine rooms, or harm rooms for short, are virtual training simulators where heroes can take on waves of increasingly difficult enemies either solo. Oh, look at that AoE smash. Or with up to four lives. <laughs> chilling with a drink. You begin in the harm room training mission, which runs you through the paces of learning to control a hero. From there, you unlock three harm challenge rooms to test your teamwork. Wait, let's look at let's look at one of these. Okay, so harm challenge number two, virtual training module, basically the same thing, and you get a random cosmic reward. Hmm. Okay. So obviously, doing the harm challenges, you're going to get gear and items to upgrade your characters which is you know that's good there's rewards for everything bring your best hero build to see if you have what it takes now here's what's really interesting about this game um you're gonna get and this is very destiny-esque very um i don't know uh gears of war warframe type augmentation you get uh all sorts of ratings and then obviously you get gear with power, which is like item level, a little bit of armor value, and then you get the perks, which obviously you're gonna have to like upgrade these items to unlock the perks, which is like heavy combo, deal particle damage, 12% midair melee combos damage, and then you gotta have the resources to actually like you know boost it up and upgrade these items, which means. Uh, resources and grinding are kind of going to be a thing in this game to get, you know, all these little resources down here, which are like, uh, I don't know, alloy cubes, spider bots, some sort of allies, some sort of something. And there's some stuff under here I can't quite see. To complete all three. Yeah, there's a better look. We got like pin particles or something, some cosmic energy and all sorts of data disks and 
different stuff. Harm challenge rooms are a great place to hone your combat skills both individually and as a team. While anyone can play the game, you'll need to focus and work together. I like that blue Iron Man suit. That's cool. How many can you? Not my favorite color, but still cool. You can track your progress, and once you oh, track your progress. Okay, what do we got? We got objectives. So 20 power level objectives, missions, challenges, and assignments is great out here. Uh, assignments might be like just split off little missions. You know, you got your main campaign and then you got side assignments. Train with, train with heroes, uh, hive mind, hive chain, cloning around a villain sector with all sorts of modifiers. Uh, resources. Okay, so this kind of tells you what you'll get, I guess. Resources, modifiers. Oh, that's gear. That's a golden piece of gear. This is like an augment piece, maybe. And then you got uh, just different missions, right? Finish. You earn a name. Oh wait, over here. I missed it. Go back a little bit. Together to make it into the most elite spaces. Go back a little How bit. How many can you and you? There we go. Um, factions. So you have. Faction Alliance XP and Shield Faction XP. So obviously that's going to mean something. Oh, and that's an epic pattern down here. It tells you what you're going to get. So you get pattern and some Faction XP, which is obviously going to be used to grind out for something, right? Because you wouldn't have it in the game if you didn't need it to buy something or purchase something or trade something. Learn a nameplate that carries over to the full retail version of the game, showing that you that's a lot of skins. And here's the matchmaking. You just search for heroes. Not only played in the beta, you excel. Once you reach this point in the beta and have an operational war table, you can also go online. And All right. So your war tables, war we've, we've seen this basically. You just go in, just go in, tells you what you get, tells you the challenges. We talked a lot of war zones are kind of what I'm interested in. First Marvel's Avengers war table. But to recap, war zones are missions you can play with up to four heroes you've unlocked as Okay, so missions you can play. Players, or a mix of both. They're probably repeatable with modifiers. Five beta war zones to play and a wide variety of aim enemies. Oh, to whoa, down, wait. Including a they went through that pretty quick. Robotic foes. Nice robots. All that stuff. There are five beta war zones to play and a wide variety. Bam, here we go. Uh, to tame a titan. It's a villain sector, so you're going to have a boss battle, right? That's what you would assume. Got your challenge 2 difficulty. Mission power is down 14 points. I don't know what that means. But you get a DNA key. You get to select mission and difficulty and etc, etc. Variety okay. of aim enemies to take down, including a range of human and robotic foes. I do like the enemy types. The first thing you notice is how each hero's traversal is true to the And obviously, hopefully, they'll add more. Like Iron Man approach from okay, here's something I wanted to show. Forward. The traversal, it looks just Come cool on, as heck. May be on foot, but they both have unique traversal Look at these jumps and flips and, and spider-esque swings. And even chaining together swings <laughs> grapple hooks. And cover greater distances. You'll always have the objective in your upper left level up. display. But that's just telling you half the information. Level up. Trigger tactical awareness to see everything that's available. Now, here's something that they kind of previewed in here. Like, when you have your hero, you're going to have two abilities, right? And then you're going to have your ultimate ability, which I, I'm not sure if you just get these two or if it's just, like, part of, like, switching out. Uh, but up here at the top, for characters, you get this energy bar. And watch this. He's got three different attacks. I assume these missiles, laser beam, and photon pulse, maybe. But this bar drains, his energy bar drains when he uses his abilities. Watch this in a second. To do in a mission. When he shoots his laser, his right bar goes down. what we call a POI, or point of interest. This POI is a bunker. Bunkers usually have small... Look at this pistol shot. I love this. It's so amazing. Um, but Iron Man, uh, going back to that a little bit. Uh, so basically, he's going to build up energy, I assume, by fighting with melee, and then you can unleash it with uh, ranged attacks, uh, kind of a builder-spender system. And I'm not sure if other characters would have that or not. All environmental puzzles that unlock a door once they're solved. Here you see it again. There are usually goodies inside, like gear, resources. Okay, Black Widow. Black Widow does not have the energy bar, but she does still have icons for different abilities. And she does have the same type of thing where you get your two side abilities and then your super mega special attack. 
boxes, and also collectible comics. I wonder if the comics are going to be fully readable. The table can take as short as 10 minutes and as long as two hours. Something for the comic fans, right? Smaller, more focused versions of War Zones, and they almost always have a single objective. The beta drop zones are designed to let you and your team drop in for a single hit and run encounter. <laughs> See, this is another reason why I might put Black Widow in my team. Dual Uzi rapid fire. Oh, I love that. That's, that's beautiful. Just unleash lead on the enemy. Um, speaking of unleashing lead, man, if they add other characters, I really hope they do War Machine. I love War Machine as a character. And in the full game, they're great for earning gear or level. Again, gear. here's gear. Uh, there was your skill trees. We'll come back to that. Companion AI team. You get in, you get out, and you're done. Nice work. Yeah, so, you know, quick missions, you don't have to spend all day grinding. You sample many of the different types of gameplay and systems that you'll find in a full game. The beta includes missions built for different players and... Oh, I love that crunch. Even though she's not my favorite character, I love that crunch. And here's Hulk with Super Slam. You will find that you can take on increasingly ambitious missions. Progression is one of the main systems in... Again, here's going back. Sorry I'm pausing so much. But we do have other resources up here. I just noticed there's 200... I assume what would be coins for the cash shop. They, they gotta have a cash shop, right? And 100 of your unpremium tokens and then of course you got gear load out with armor augment maybe and melee and ranged attack again resources down at the bottom oh there's an auto equip best gear button that's good that's cool in the full game and the beta again you got to boost all this armor up using resources and leveling up your avengers in the beta you'll have access to one of three starting skill pages for okay here we go the skill pages we get a primary skill page, but there's also a secondary assault and ultimate, I believe. And wow, there are like so many upgrades here. I'm wondering, because we have skill points, right? So obviously you're not going to be able to unlock everything. It's going to be limited, so you got to do kind of like a, a build for your character. Hero. The others open up when the game launches. As you earn experience, you level up, and each level grants. I do like how it lists what it kind of does. It breaks a block, it does high damage, low impact, high stun, and super flyback, which is the reaction. Reaction like knock up, flyback, freeze, stun, stuff like that. Uh, wow, rage abilities for Hulk, grab attack, oh, grab attacks, okay. And combat, and something behind here. Grants you a skill point. You spend these to unlock skills and shape what each of your Avengers can do. I'm wondering what heroic rating is. In our first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we talked about heroics and ultimates. And we okay, so the heroic rating is your ultimate. The Hulk Buster, is <laughs> Hulk Iron Buster looks ultimate, awesome. And you can use it in the beta. Right off the bat, you'll see it as a powerhouse of, well, power. Yeah, he literally just turns into Hulk comes with, with guns. propelled melee attack combos and overpowering dash attacks that can literally sweep enemies off the battlefield. You can access Hulkbuster's rocket propelled punches, rocket propelled gauntlet cannon. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like the gauntlet. Blast oh, and the super and repulsor. Attack, and the ability to sustain tons of damage. There are also some alternate deployment methods. Okay, so he talks about alternate deployments, and it actually shows one later. So we'll, we'll check that out. You will also earn gear as you play, and as you level up, you'll have access to better gear with more powerful perks. And yep, that is powerful perks. In the in the if you notice, the yellow one only had one one perk, but the... Okay, so here we go. We got the primary, the specialty, the mastery, and then in these trees, you got the support role, you got the assault role, you got the ultimate role, and just your defensives. So literally, there's tons of stuff to spec into. Defensive gear to dial in your perfect place. There's a uh, power beam for your ultimate right here. So you, just a really strong laser, right? To burn people to death. And build out your Avengers. Okay, and here's where they show one of the changes, the, the Magno missile, where you can use your ultimate again, basically, and it starts firing out rockets at all the enemies. Roster to play your way. <laughs> that's just, that's cool. I like roster. that. 
During our first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we mentioned that playing with your companion AI was oh. a great alternative. Yeah, if so if you're a solo, your if you're a solo, solo player, you can totally do a companion AI. Reason why we like them so much. These are your heroes playing alongside you on your team that you've unlocked and you are leveling. So let's say you start the mission as the Hulk. The game then adds your Iron Man, your Black Widow, your Kamala to your party. The heroes in your party are using the skills that you've unlocked and the gear that you've equipped. Yeah, so key point there. They are your heroes. So if like, if you have Iron Man and you build him as complete laser blaster, your companion AI is going to be laser blaster with your gear, with your skills. That's that's the coolest thing to take from that. Not just a generic AI character. Tailor-made party composition that plays the way that you want. As generic as AI can be. This is a great way for a solo player to play as a team in the full game and in the beta. Warbot. Okay, th that was like a huge boss. I'm not going to go back to it, but yeah, that was just a composition huge boss fight. Adventures. Building out a team with pure or hybrid melee and ranged builds allows you to do a lot more with what you have. Looks like that laser auto targets too from Iron Man. This was a quick overview of the beta. It is a big experience with more than 20 <laughs> Look at that warbot. It is huge. Missions. That means boss battles are going to be epic. Okay, we finally got a preview of Hulk's uh, UI bar at the current moment. So he's got, again, the two normal abilities or special abilities and then his ultimate, which I assume is the clap because it looks like a clap fist type thing. And then up here, he has a rage bar because it's obviously rage because there's a fist. So whatever you spend this on, I'm assuming like abilities. So again, builder spender type system, fight normally, build up your rage and then unleash the special attacks. Small takes of the customizations, outfits and upgrades and even some secrets you'll have to discover by yourself. Again with the war room. From the very start, we plan Marvel's Avengers as an experience that grows with you as you play. The heart and soul of that is each Avenger, and as fans ourselves, we've handpicked some of our and your favorite heroes to join the team after launch. Heroes like this. Oh, here we go. After launch. So post launch DLC. To any surviving Avengers. Did you guys hear that? Let me go back. I think a lot of people missed this part. This fans ourselves. We've handpicked some of our and your favorite heroes. Our favorite heroes. Now listen, listen very quickly. Like this. Twenty surviving Avengers. Twenty surviving Avengers. So we currently have six plus the DLC, which we're about to see. So. Are they going to add all 20 surviving Avengers? That is a uh, that is a question. Should we lose the fight ahead of us? Oh. Should everything be lost? <laughs> know this. We know who this is. Oh, that's beautiful. Guys, yes. Oh, it's Mr. H himself. Hawkeye, guys, ever since the days of normal Nintendo, when the when the, there was like that original, I can't remember what it was called, but there, it was basically an Avengers Nintendo game with Hawkeye and Captain America. I always used to pick Hawkeye. I love Hawkeye as a character. He is so cool. And he's going to have stuff, I assume, like, like he had in the, uh, his old games. Uh, shock arrows, net arrows, explosive arrows, uh, those spinny Tony Stark clear the room arrows, all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, they can put in this game. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And she just talked about shock arrow. <laughs> yes. I want him on my team. 100%. No doubt about it, Hawkeye. You asked for him, and we're thrilled to bring him to you. When we started working on Hawkeye, the first thing we did was find the best comics and pull ideas that would fit into our post-8A universe. 
One of our favorite runs is writer Matt Fraction and artist David Ajaz's My Life as a Weapon. And we've taken some exciting ideas from it. So much so that Hawkeye has his own in-depth story mission chain. And it is unique from the main campaign because it can be played in co-op or solo, whichever you prefer. Okay. Hawkeye is your first look at how the expanding look at this. Marvel's Here you go. Shock arrow into the aimbot. And uh, he's going to have his own campaign completely separate from the main storyline. You know, obviously, because he's a DLC character and got to have his own thing. But they can literally just keep going with this, keep running with it. Just throw characters in with their own storyline campaigns and people will buy it. They could make this game epic. Avengers continues to grow after launch. The Reassemble campaign is the story of Kamala reuniting the Avengers against the current aim threat. On top of that, you get six heroes with a game at launch. Six you heroes. Can to upgrade gear and outfits Cap. to earn and unlock. Oh. But after that, yep. you have the ever-present Avengers Initiative. This is where you extend the experience as the Avengers. Uh, okay, Hawkeye's here. Mystery, mystery, mystery. So Hawkeye's right after a mystery. Avengers protecting Earth from all threats and encouragement. What is this? Okay, so this is kind. Okay, this is just what we saw. We got the six main heroes. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, six main heroes. Question mark Hawkeye. I know it's kind of hard to see because a little bit blurry, but it's okay. And then you got a update of some sort. Versions. Huge world update. Both the ones coming on day one, and where new heroes, new missions, new regions are all accessible with your entire team roster, either solo with AI heroes or online with other players. Oh, August so good. is Marvel's Avengers beta month. We are ready and eager to play alongside you throughout August in the lead up to launch on September 4th. As you play, oh, shock. Tons he of shocked him. For us to improve the oh, there's the pistol. And we learn more about what else we can Hulk do. smash a button. The world to be the superhero fantasy you dreamed of living. Oh, do you see that wall smash? Let's go back to that wall smash. Play, Here we go. Tons of Slam, gunshot, big hit, more about what button smash, grow this game and then we got super, super smash, and then watch this. Bam! This wall slams a dude. That's why we can't wait for you to get started and play what we've been playing. When you get your hands on the baby, oh, clear the room lasers. Dive into the story, jump online and play with friends, all starting on August 7th through 9th on place. Okay, here we go. The beta. If you pre-order, you get PC. Uh, sorry, Xbox and PC are in the middle with August 14th, so middle of the month. PlayStation comes before that on the 7th. And then all platforms open beta, so you probably don't have to purchase for this one, is on the 21st uh, only, I guess? Or maybe just after that? I'm not really sure. PlayStation 4 and PC and Xbox starting August 14th. The beta is meaty, but it's only a small part of the finished game. Enjoy a full-length campaign. More than 80 wars. Look at the more than 50 craziness. Enemies, new configurations of harm rooms and challenges updated regularly, and even more later game mission types that we haven't even revealed yet, such as hives and boss layers. Oh, here we go, boss layers. You know what this looks like right here? This looks look looks like a Doctor Doom almost scenario, like Castle on the Hill type of scenario but i'm not saying that's dr doom um but anyways yeah villain high or hives and then villain layers it's just gonna be amazing like if they keep just adding more and more to this game Play the game the more it grows and evolves as we add new characters like hawkeye add new story content and regions all at no additional cost oh and one more thing we're also excited to reveal that we're working with Epic Games and the Fortnite team. So when you finish the Marvel's Avengers beta, you will earn the Hulk Smasher's pickaxe with bonus Hulkbuster style in Fortnite. For more I'm not even going to talk about this. I mean, if you're a Fortnite player, okay. More details <laughs> it's not part of the game, though. <laughs> it's just bonus content. Thank you for joining us for another Marvel's Avengers War Table. We'll be back with more news and probably some more surprises before then. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the beta. And there you have it. That's pretty much it. After this, it's just uh, a bunch of uh, screen caps. So guys, I'm psyched. I'm I'm super happy with what I see here. Uh, this new this new beta, um, the new game 
just coming out so soon, like four weeks from the time of this video. And I know, I already know exactly what my team is going to be. Um, I'm starting with Thor. Thor is going to be my main dude um, unless I change my mind later. And then we're going to go with uh, Cap. And probably, well, actually, no, no, I'm not going to go Cap because Cap's going to be replaced by Hawkeye when he comes out. So I'm going to go Thor, Hawkeye for range support. I'm probably going to build in Black Widow because I like how she just oozes people down and all sorts of gadgets and guns. And then uh, we're probably going to follow it up with Iron Man and he's also going to be super ranged. Uh, but anyways, guys, tell me what you think about this game beta preview. I think it that. It's almost worth the pre-order, even though I don't recommend anything like that ever, ever, ever. Uh, that's it. Game Eat and Discuss out. Tell me what you thought.